Let's do some other stories here on Newsdex. The Chief Justice Christian Inyebo is assuring the Ghanaian citizenry of his commitment to uphold the integrity of the judiciary. He says his administration is devoted to delivering quality justice services to Ghanaians. He, however, challenged professionals in the justice delivery sector to work towards correcting the poor public perception about the judiciary in recent times. The Chief Justice was addressing the first quadrennial delegates congress of the Senior Staff Association of Judiciary Service of Ghana after it broke away from the Judicial Service Staff Association of Ghana in 2018. The association includes court clerks, interpreters, registrars and bailiffs. The five-day conference is themed promoting efficiency in justice delivery, the role of staff and management. I wish to draw your attention to the fact that our services constitute public goods and as staff of the judicial service, you cannot remain insular and detached from the regular accountability demands made of the judiciary. In other words, you need to understand from the outset that as public entities, I am referring to both the judiciary and the judicial service, the general public have a stake in terms of our competency, efficiency and institutional integrity. Therefore, as Chief Justice, and I speak for management too, I welcome constructive dialogue and informed suggestions that have the potential of ending three growth and efficiency in justice delivery. Management is determined to build a trustworthy and robust institution as can be clearly gathered from the various reform initiatives underway. We cannot enhance our efficiency in the justice system without the application of ICT solutions, which with specific focus on the courts in particular, and you as staff must ensure that these interventions work because we must be abreast with what is going on in other jurisdictions. Justice and Nim Yabwa implored association members to commit to good work ethics and strive for excellence. Okay, on this note, I entreat the leadership of both unions, USAG and SAJU, to collaborate at all times to achieve their collective interests as stipulated in the labor regulations of 2003. I charge both unions to endeavor to work together in unity and avoid unnecessary rivalry and friction to create a healthy working environment. For it is said, in unity is strength. National President of Saju, Marilyn Suta, called on the Chief Justice and the Judiciary to motivate long-standing and hard-working staff at the Ghana Judiciary Service. Judicial staff are faced with several challenges in the course of ex executing our daily tasks. Notable among them are limited resources, the repairable state of some of the courts, inadequate capacity building programs for staff, and the absence of award schemes for hard-working and long-serving staff. Due to the peculiar nature of our jobs, most staff of the service, especially the court staff, are unable to seek other job opportunities elsewhere because of the knowledge, because the knowledge acquired in the courts are not applicable in other institutions except those that may be legally inclined. In response, Justice and Nim Yabwa acknowledge workers are entitled to decent wages and management must ensure staff are adequately motivated to execute their duties satisfactorily. Clinton Yabwa's report for Joy News.